I only know this in retrospect because I didn't realise at the time, but breaking my arm at the age of eight and not realising it until my mother, two days later, my mother found that my arm was a peculiar colour and a peculiar shape. Um, having a huge baked potato burst in my face and uh, not realising that I'd done much damage. Um, backpacking in Eastern Europe, tripping over with a rucksack on my back and falling into a concrete bollard and losing my front teeth and damaging my face and not feeling any pain with that. I felt stupid and looked awful but I didn't feel any pain. Mm. Childbirth, I just went through childbirth expecting to feel pain in my head saying when it gets painful, whatever, they, whatever pain is, whenever it's painful I'll ask for it. The um, painkiller but didn't need it. After my um, hand operations I didn't have any painkillers then when I was told it would be extremely painful. And lots of minor things, I burned myself, I cut myself and I just thought I was incredibly clumsy. I know this is going to sound stupid, but when we're gardening, I, I love pulling up um, nettles, stinging nettles. I love the feeling in my hands. It's a tickly feeling in my hand, and it's a joke now, but I don't wear garden gloves because I enjoy that feeling. Everyday things, I, you know, I'm ironing, and quite often I'm sort of ironing away, and, uh, and suddenly find I've ironed my arm. And it's only when I see after there's a sort of mark down there that I realise I've ironed my arm. So just everyday things that are just... But they're normal to me, you see, so they don't seem strange. That's how I've always been. It's only when people point out it might be peculiar that I realise I am peculiar. But